adjust. Try to scan slowly with your eyes. I see some sort of water tanks at the end of the hall. Deux citernes au bout du couloir. Ça peut aider. There's a ladder on the right and on the far wall at the end. Deux citernes de chaque côté, échelle à droite. Ouais, mais attends, c'est un peu. There's a big yellow pipe going down the left wall. It crosses over the ceiling part way down the corridor. Je suis sûr que c'est un truc avec nous. There's a ladder on the right and on the far wall at the end. Sur la droite et sur la droite, tout au bout. It looks like the corridor ends in a T intersection. Intersection. Est-ce que tous les trois ont été. I see two ladders along the left of the tunnel. The tunnel goes straight and then turns to the right. There are these two big electrical boxes of some kind on the right. These symbols are access ladders. These thick lines represent large pipes. The circles are water tanks. And these boxes with the crosses in them are power relays or transformers. Does that help any? Not on its own, but I can tell that the different intersections seem to have some small inconsistencies in layout. Moi, je prends ma Y. Je pense que celle-ci est une bonne possibilité. Si tu dis ça. Il y a une bonne idée. Look down the corridors. I need to know what you see. Describe it in as much detail as you can. It could be here. I guess they all kind of look the same. Okay, we can eliminate this one. Okay. I think this one is a good possibility. If you say so. There's a big yellow pipe. 
that goes down a bit on the left and then crosses over to the other side. I think this one is a good possibility. If you say so. E qual você passa? Que que foi feio? Ai, foi tudo coxinha. I'm just gonna cross this one off. Okay, I hope you're right. What do you think, Jess? Probably not this one. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay, everyone, I think I've got it. No. Are you sure? Sure, sure, sure? I'm positive. On verra bien. <laughs> wait, wait. This isn't right. This isn't how the plans described our route. Great. We made a mistake. Real good. We can't go back there now. What now, huh? Oh, no. And the symbol. Symbol. C'était pas celle de l'autre, c'était l'autre, c'est un chaud de feu. Probably not this one. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm just gonna cross this one off. Okay, I hope you're right. I don't think it's this one. How can you keep them all straight? It could be here. I guess they all kind of look the same. Okay, everyone, I think I've got it. Are you sure? I'm positive. Bon, que la bonne. Ah bah, we si, must be là. here. Oh, it's the only nice. one that completely matches our surroundings. Okay, bon, here we are. The desalination plant is here. We're not that far. No, we follow this route here. We follow any water mains at junctions in the direction of convergence. Even still, there's barely any turns. Look, just memorize this route.
Bon, réussi. Oh God, Jess, what have I done? I just left her down there. I have to go find her. Back down there with those monsters? No, Jerry. She needs you safe. Jess is a strong and resourceful girl. She's doing like we are doing, surviving. You can't know that. I won't leave her to those animals. Jerry, look at me. If we go back down there, we won't make it to the bottom of that ladder. The others escaped down the tunnel we were gonna follow. We know where they're going. The marine exhibit. That's where Laura would take her. And Yoder is with them. Oh, God. If we're going to join them again, that is where we have to go. The quickest way we can. You're right. We should be able to make better time over land. Can you get us there? <rire> Vers le nord, près de l'océan, je ne sais pas. Bon, je pense que c'est près de l'océan. Sorkin mentioned the desalination plant. That would be near the ocean, right? Jerry, the whole island is near the ocean. Oh, right, but we pump seawater in from the lagoon. They must have built the marine exhibit near the waterworks. Lagoon? I think I know where that is. Let me get my bearings, and we'll figure out how to get there. Por el amor de Dios. Do you know where we are? Let me think. It's been so long. This is my first time back on the island in nearly 12 years. The engine has changed it so much. Nima, this island. There's more to it, isn't there? To you, I mean. Yes. It is very dear to me. Tell me. I grew up here, you know? Below those trees. My people were fishermen. We would make our homes near the water during the fishing season. I love the water. I would swim in the ocean. So far. That's why my father called me Nima. I could go anywhere. Run in the jungle. Climb the trees. These monsters. There was never anything like them on this island before. It was all very bon, peaceful bon, before yeah. Injun bought the island from Costa Rica. Island is so different now. I know the island. It's part of me. But when Injun came to the island, important men from Costa Rica came and asked my father to go back with them. They wanted my father to make a good impression so that Costa Rica could ask Injun for a good deal of money for our island. When he was in Costa Rica, he was asked to cut his hair and wear a suit so that he wouldn't seem simple to the Injun people. I felt as I feel now. My father was different. I knew him, but some part of him had been lost. I'm sure it was a very difficult time for your father. I know he wanted what was best for our people. He was too trusting. They took advantage of him. My father was an Awa, a spiritual healer. He sang for Sibo, who created the Earth. He was very important to our tribe. But after we left the island, he would not keep up the old traditions. He was always unhappy. Before Injun, and my father and I would go to the ocean to fish. When I would swim in the ocean, my father would say, Nima, little fish, little fish, do not swim so far. I cannot catch you so far out. <laughs> when Injun came to move us to Costa Rica, I became very angry with my father. Whatever he would tell me to do, I would refuse. But he would never be angry with me. He would say that I am a fish who would never eat the fisher's bait. He was right. To me, everything had a string attached. You remind me of Jess. I mean, that's how it used to be with us before the divorce. I'd take her to the museums or to the zoo. She'd always climb up onto things, you know, such a climber. She can't not climb over things, into things. Climbed into a tiger pen once. <laughs> With a live tiger. But not anymore? No. Things haven't been the same since the divorce. He would always remind me of my stubbornness. I, I think I kick. believe that's how I must always be. You know, no ties, no temptation. But then I had Atlanta by Mariquita. She is almost of an age where she will outgrow my protection. Young girls on the streets in my neighborhood. They get snatched up by local cartels, run drugs. Or worse, some just disappear. 
Now there is no choice. 